Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Any Unlock. Any Unlock can help you in any type of situation. Rather, Face ID or Touch ID not working properly, you have an older device laying around and forgot the passcode to it, don't worry. Rather, it's a six digit passcode, Face ID or Touch ID not working, or your iPhone is disabled. Any Unlock can help you remove any iPhone lock screen passcode and gain complete access to your device. As always, use this software responsibly, and links will be in the description and down below. So, iOS 15 has been out for nearly 10 days as of the filming of this video video and I usually like to tell my subscribers before updating to a major software update like iOS 15 Hold off about a week and a half or two weeks to see what kind of bugs come about and this video talks directly to that particular situation. As always, if you want to stay up to date with the latest iOS news, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you do not miss another episode. So the first thing I want to talk about is iPhone 13, iPhone 13 mini, 13, 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. Many users have taken to forums and reported that iPhone 13 loses its touchscreen uh, capabilities responsiveness when going to sleep now this is an intermediate unresponsiveness this doesn't happen all the time and I haven't encountered this bug myself but many iPhone 13 users are reporting that when they put their iPhones to sleep and go to the lock screen and tap to wake their iPhones simply do not wake up they have to press on the power button or side button here wake it up and then swipe to unlock I would like to hear from you in those comments down below if you own a brand new iPhone 13 any of the iPhone 13 models have you encounter this intermediate unresponsiveness on the lock screen of iphone when you go to maybe wake up your device or you get a notification and try to open that notification does your iphone freeze or does it lose its touch capabilities now a bug that i've personally encountered myself is an issue with third-party apps or the software itself so i try to open an application for example let's say like youtube i try tapping on a video and then when i go to tap on the video the video just doesn't work it just clicks on it but it doesn't open now, I first thought this was uh, related to the application itself. Maybe the developers need to update their apps. But no, it started happening within Safari as well, as well as Apple Music. Where I click on a song and it just doesn't want to play the music, it freezes. And it's also happening with third-party applications. Also, Twitter, if I try launching Twitter, sometimes I can't scroll. I have to quit the application and try it again. Again, I thought this was something that developers needed to work on in order to bring the app compatibility to iOS 15. But it looks like it's a bug within iOS iOS 15 also as I mentioned Apple music where the music won't play some apps will freeze even Safari will also freeze let me know again if you're encountering any of these issues with third-party apps the software itself or any of the Apple applications now I can't say that I've encountered any freezing within the software like scrolling through settings opening and closing applications or going into control center it doesn't freeze then it only freezes when I open applications inside of the applications themselves but again I would like to hear from you as well. Now, other issues that users are reporting are within CarPlay. A bug within iOS 15, many users have reported that caused CarPlay to simply crash. So, if you are using CarPlay in iOS 15, are you encountering any freezing or crashing of CarPlay? Again, this video is more of a conversation, kind of get some ideas of which devices are encountering what issues. I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. What iPhone do you own? Have you encountered any of these bugs? Let me know in those comments down below. And last but not least, for whatever reason apple has stopped siri from actually giving you results when it comes to voicemails and a uh, call history so apple seems to have removed a certain functions in ios 15 siri can no longer uh, give you uh, information in regards to voicemails and call history if you're using siri for that a lot of uh, accessibility users have been impacted by this particular uh, move coming from apple again ios 15 uh, seems to a rocky start um, let me know in the comments down below how's the software working for you so far are any of these bugs impacting you in any way thank you for watching this video guys and i'll see you on the next one peace